Hello and welcome back to Friday Minis. Now, networking is something that is, well, a pretty big part of our lives these days. And particularly in the home, you will have, well, some form of networking service run right in. Now, today, I don't want to talk about, you know, the actual stuff in your home. Let's go one step outwards. Let's talk about the equipment right outside that supplies your place. This is what we call last mile internet access, right? It's basically the last mile between the service provider and you. Now, chances are at least, well, if you're in certain countries, you are getting fiber internet access. That is, well, it's an optical fiber, something that carries light, uh, that's run right to your doorstep, right, right into your home. Now, as you can imagine, the infrastructure that, you know, is required to support this looks something like this. You need to have a main trunk coming in from the service provider. This trunk clearly needs to hold more than just your connection. It's going to be holding the connections of perhaps several houses around. Um, if you're in an apartment block, perhaps several floors or even the entire apartment complex. Now, this trunk eventually needs to get to a device that splits the signal, right? Somehow, this signal needs to be cut up. You know, this signal is meant for you, this signal is meant for your neighbor. You have to cut it up and send it to the right place. So there's got to be this thing in the middle that splits out to the individual houses. Traditionally, this applies for you know whatever kind of service you're using, be it cable, be it ethernet, right? It works like that. But usually what happens is that little guy in the middle is an active component. The most common example of such a piece of equipment would be a network switch. Now, of course, a network switch is an active device, right? It needs to look at the signal coming in. It even pokes into the signal to decide, well, where all the individual packets are supposed to go. By knowing that, it will push the packets towards the right place. And that is how we get the splitting kind of behavior. However, when you're working with fiber, something a little bit different happens. Very commonly, fiber internet is brought to you using this technique called g -point which stands for Gigabit Passive Optical Network. The keyword here is passive. All of this comes about because we are using light, right? Fiber carries light, not an electrical current, which allows us to do something interesting. Because we're dealing with light, we can simply use an optical splitter. At its simplest, a splitter can be something like a prism, in which one incoming beam of light can be split into multiple beams. What's cool about this is that the splitter is completely passive no computation, no power needed even. Each one of these beams can then be transmitted to each user. Of course, each beam must carry everyone's information. Equipment installed at a user's premises will filter out all but what's relevant for them. The same works in reverse. User equipment from each household takes turns to send light back towards the splitter, which combines them back into a single stream. Once again, this can be done completely passively. Having this sort of technology in place is extremely beneficial because what that means is, firstly, it's a small thing that you can chuck anywhere, it doesn't need power, and well, because of that, we don't have as many things that could fail. Yeah, it just needs to be there in the path of the fiber and it will do what it's supposed to do. That's something interesting about fiber internet, you know, apart from its speed, of course. If you're using fiber coming to your home, chances are there is a device like that along the way. And yeah, that's a surprisingly ingenious way in which you're getting your fast internet. That's all it is for this episode of Friday Minis. Thank you very much for watching and until next time, you're watching 0612 TV with nerdfirst.net. Thank you very much for watching. If you like my work and are feeling generous, you can shoot me a one-time donation on PayPal or sign up for a recurring one on Patreon. Of course, you can simply like, comment, and subscribe. You know the deal. For more videos, links to my channel and a related playlist are on screen. Thank you for your support.